Got some annoying background noise, maybe like this. This is an audio test to see if I can reduce and maybe even remove this fan sound. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to reduce and hopefully even remove annoying background noise in both the free and studio version of Resolve. And I gotta say, the studio version makes it really, really easy. Now, of course, the source audio that you're working with should be recorded cleanly. And as a general rule, you always wanna record at least 10 seconds of room tone where you record the natural sound of the place where you're at. And if you're new here, I'm Ali. Will and I release weekly YouTube videos all about editing, gear reviews, and videography tips and tricks. And pretty soon I'm gonna be releasing a video teaching you my favorite features in the Fairlight page. If you're into that sort of thing, subscribe to stay in the loop. All right, now grab a pair of headphones or turn good speakers up if you have them. Let's hop into Resolve and get started. I have this clip here of me talking while a fan is running in the background. Let's have a listen. This is an audio test to see if I can reduce and maybe even remove this fan sound that's happening in the background while I'm talking. Yeah, that does not sound so good. All right, let's hop over to the Fairlight page. First, let's go to the beginning of our clip, press I on our keyboard to create an in point, go to the end of our clip, press O to create an out point, and we wanna make sure we have loop turned on so that we can continuously play this clip over and over again as we're making our audio adjustments. Let's go up to effects under audio effects, fair light effects. Let's click on our magnifying glass and type in noise reduction. There's the noise reduction effect. Let's drag it onto our audio and up pops our noise reduction window. Now we aren't gonna get into what these dials down here do because they're more advanced and the techniques I show you do a pretty good job. So if you don't have any room tone recorded, you can try using auto speech mode to remove unwanted background noise. Auto speech mode lets Resolve determine which parts of the audio are voice and which are background noise. And then it removes what it considers to be background noise. So let's have a listen to see how it did by hitting the space bar. This is an audio test to see if I can reduce and maybe even remove this fan sound that's happening in the background while I'm talking. Okay, so for this particular audio, auto speech mode did remove the background noise, but it also removed a lot of the natural frequencies in my voice, making it sound muffled and artificial, not what I'm going for. Let's click on listen to noise only and check out what result determined to be the background noise to remove from this audio. Okay, yes, so too much of my voice was removed. So let's decrease the intensity of auto speech mode. Just uncheck listen to noise only. And I lied earlier, one dial that I do like to use is the dry wet dial. Using this dial allows you to blend the untreated audio with the processed audio. If we turn it all the way to dry, you can't hear the processed audio at all. If we put it all the way to wet, we would be able to hear 100% of the processed audio. And if you wanna reset to the default, just double click on the dial. So I'm gonna adjust it as I listen. This is an audio test to see if I can reduce and maybe even remove this fan sound that's happening in the background while I'm talking. Okay, so adjusting the dry wet dial helped and depending on the audio you're working with, using auto speech mode might work better for you. But when I'm working with noise reduction, I actually prefer using manual mode. Let's click on the circular arrow at the top right of our window here to reset our effect. And by default, we are now in manual mode. Just gonna move this window up here and let's bring our playhead to the part of the clip at the end here. That's just room tone press learn, which will detect the background noise in our audio that we want to remove. Hit the space bar to play the room tone. Hit it again to stop. Okay, so DaVinci Resolve has worked its magic and learned the background noise. So now anything that matches that noise in our audio will be removed. Let's have a listen to the before and after. This is an audio test to see if I can reduce and maybe even remove this fan sound that's happening in the background while I'm talking. 
All right, awesome. So manual mode did a pretty good job of removing that background noise, but now we're gonna look at a feature that's only available in the studio version. It's truly amazing, super simple to use, and it works on a large variety of different annoying background noises when you're working with dialogue audio. Let's click on inspector to open it up, turn on voice isolation. And one thing to be aware of, if you've made adjustments to the amount, and you turn it on and off, it's gonna reset. So I actually prefer clicking on these three little lines here to open up the voice isolation window, adjusting the amount here and turning on and off the effect here to easily hear the before and after. This is an audio test to see if I can reduce and maybe even remove this fan sound that's happening in the background while I'm talking to see if I can reduce and maybe even remove this fan sound that's happening in the background while I'm talking. All right, so there you go. That's how to remove annoying background noise in Resolve. I hope you found this video helpful. If you wanna know the gear that we use and recommend, check out the description below for weekly editing, videography tips and tricks, as well as gear reviews. Subscribe to stay in the loop. I hope you have a lovely day and we'll see you in another video.